Leaning up against a wall is the metal, skeletal remains of care. Care, or the conscience of the group, is symbolized by a human body. All that remains is the metal skeleton. Our source informs us that the final effigy that is burned is made of a highly flammable material and that the local fire department from Monterio oversees this part of the ritual. That was an important piece of the puzzle because in 2003 we traveled back to the Grove and talked to a lot of the locals who were mainly friendly. But when we talked to a couple of local firefighters who were with the Monterio Fire Department and asked them about the Bohemian Grove, they got very upset and told us to turn our cameras off. Well, he was telling me about, about you know, it's, it's like we're where the president goes to the, And so we were going to, like, talk to him, and then he's all, all over. Hey, man, shut the camera off, huh? More hidden video reveals some of the ritualistic cloaks worn in the ceremonies. Here are some more stills inside the grove. Our social lives, going to the football game or the PTA, a little bit different than your average world leader or corporation chief. No, in their spare time, they worship Moloch and do mock human sacrifices. We just need to get used to that and accept them as our leaders. Think about it. If your neighbor was engaging in mock human sacrifices to Moloch, the demon idol that was worshipped all over the Mediterranean and the Middle East, would you let that neighbor walk your dog or house sit? Or how about babysit your children? Or be in control of the nuclear launch codes? Well, let me give you a revelation. They are in control of the national deficit, of Congress, of your bank account, of your local police department, and they see you as cattle, as their slaves. Some of the criticism we received came from an unexpected source. Harry Shearer, star of Spinal Tap and the voice of Mr. Burns on The Simpsons. This is a get-together of very powerful guys. Harry Shearer played the role of apologist in a British documentary about the Grove. Mr. Shearer, who is also a member of the Grove, said that they're just having fun when they have the cremation of care ritual and that it's a men's party where they blow off steam. But Mr. Shearer didn't stop there. In 2002, he produced a full-length feature film and released it titled The Teddy Bear's Picnic. Mr. Shearer has told the press that his film is based on the Bohemian Grove. The Owl of Bohemia is turned into a pelican. Care is transformed into time. The juridic rites are interpreted to simply be nonsensical sophomoric activities. Oh, and guess what the plot of the entire film is? That they're trying to keep their rituals secret, and two employees have hidden video cameras and are about to blow their secret wide open. I wonder who they could be talking about. And I want to make an announcement for everyone, anyone who is parked across the street, anyone who's parked across the street at the theater, on the theater grounds, you need to move your car. Hey, hey! Ho, ho! This rich man's camp has got to go! Hey, hey! Ho, ho! This rich man's camp has got to go! Hey, hey! This rich man's camp has got to go! Hey, hey! This rich man's camp has got to go! Hey, hey! So, uh, are you one of the uh, Grovers?
One of the strangest chapters in the unfolding Bohemian Grove soap opera was the fact that local protesters were angry at us bringing up the occult activities in the Grove. They said that we should only spend our time focusing on the political decisions that were made in the Grove. I think it's bad enough to just stick with what they're doing to the Globe. Local peace activist Mary Moore had been protesting the Grove for more than two decades. When Mary saw our documentary and heard our take on what we witnessed inside, she went unglued, calling us all sorts of names. We were wacko for thinking these rituals were strange. Why were we reporting on that? For the 2001 protest, the year after we snuck in, Mary turned over control of the organization to other local groups, but she was in attendance. We then caught footage of the local leaders of the protest group actually carrying out their own counter rituals in some type of bizarre white magic versus black magic war. They even had the old fashioned witch's pot. I was wondering where the brooms were. They conjured spirits, brought them into the circle, concentrated their power together, and then sent the spell in against the Grovers. Guardians of the Watchtowers of the East, Spirit, Spirits of Air, Spirits of Changing Winds, Winds of Change, be present here as we do this ritual. So mote it be. I call upon the front primal fires of transformation and creation, the shining face of the Father and the molten core of the Mother. In their sacred union, we stand. The sacred fires even now. Oh, oh, oh. <coughs> oh spirits of the water, spirits of this beautiful river that runs past us. We feel you in our blood, moving through our bodies. Let us welcome you as we remember that we are one. Ho, oh, spirits of the water. Oh, oh spirits of the water. May we not fear the dark place that we enter in order to learn from you, Mother Earth. Guardians of the North, be with us. So more to This went on for literally hour after hour after hour.
you drive across and do all the symbols we painted on it and into the rib mass of this big rib mass. Yeah. 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 There's a little spell that we've been working since the election. You mean the appointment. <laughs> Maybe you'll say that to me. It goes like this. Let power and resources flow. Let power and resources flow. To those who will use them. To those who will use them. For the good of the earth and her people. For the good of the earth and her people. And be withdrawn from those who won't. And be withdrawn from those who won't. Then a veteran warlock asked one of the spirits to stay and give Grove members a welcome as they drove in in their luxury automobiles. Winds of change, spirits of the air, powers of the east. We have felt your presence here and would like for you to stick around and give a warm welcome to the folks who are coming here. But go if you must, and please stay if you will. Hail and farewell. Hail and farewell. Does it feel good to get loaded on the slave ships, giggling happily, <laughs> face scanning cameras going up, you don't speak out against that? In that cauldron is water from sacred places and from political actions all around the world. There's water there from Seattle and from Quebec City and Chalice World and other places people know of. The birthplace of uh, Quetzalcoatl and Amaklan. And I'm going to take some of it actually tomorrow to Genoa to the protest there against the G8. And we're going to do some kind of cauldron ritual in the midst of it, which will be interesting. Now I'm beginning to realize why we're not supposed to talk about all the occult activities that are going on inside the grove. It isn't magic or belief in magic that's the problem. It's not the occult. No, it's those evil right-wingers. And by the way, let's not mention all those top Democrats that are inside. It's pretty hypocritical. Now to be fair, Mary Moore and many of the protesters were not involved in the ritual. But we did see leaders of the ritual directing the protest and moderating with police. The police even shot down the road so they could carry out their ritual. And to be fair, it wasn't just Western magic that was being practiced at the protest. There was a group there promoting Santa Rhea. You know, that Caribbean voodoo practice. But they also mixed in some Aztec worship. So it was quite a grab bag of occultism. What is the purpose of the offering for the altar? What is that? Giving back. Giving back to Mother. Giving back to the Earth. We just take, 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 and consume. But today, we're asking everyone.